In this video, I'll demonstrate how to run the more command on a transcript file. Now we've made sure that the file contains no unrecognized words by running the more plus xb command and fixing some errors, so we're ready to go. In the clan commands window, we check that the more lib is set to where the English grammar folder is located on our computer and that the working directory is set to where the chat file is located. Both of those are correct, but if not, I would click on the working directory button or the more lib button and navigate to where those folders are on my computer. Now to run more, I would type my command here in the command window, but I'll type it down here so it's larger and easier to see. I simply type more space and then the file name example.chat. I'll cut and paste that, put it in the commands window, and click run. Now notice that this analysis is completed in about two seconds. In that time, the more program assigned all the possible morphological analyses to each word, and then the post program used sophisticated algorithms to disambiguate the cases where multiple possibilities exist for a given word. The postmortem program cleaned up some additional details on the percent MOR tier, and we end up with the best possible automatic parsing for each sentence. Finally, Running the more command also automatically runs the megrasp command, which is a dependency parse for identifying grammatical relations. You can read more about more, post, and grasp in the clan manual. But let's go ahead and open the file and see what it looks like now. We can go back to the folder where the file is located and open it, or we can triple click here down at the bottom on this output file line and open the file from here as a shortcut. Okay, close the rest of this to make this easier to see. Okay, so as you can see beneath each speaker tier we have a percent MOR tier and a percent GRA tier. Let's scroll down and look at these lines here. The participant said um and she's cleaning. If we look at the percent MOR tier, we can see that the filler um is ignored by the percent MOR tier. Then we have the coordinator and, followed by the pronoun she, acting as the subject of the sentence, with the attached third person singular auxiliary, and then the present participle cleaning. Now, if we triple click on the GRA tier, we see the grammatical relations mapped out with the verb as the root of the sentence and the coordinator, subject, and auxiliary linked to that verb. So now that we have the percent MOR tier, we can use a variety of other commands to run other analyses on this file. But two comments before I finish. First, if we had a number of files in the folder that we wanted to run the more command on, we could have typed more space star dot cha and it would run on all of the files in the folder and automatically add the percent MOR and GRA tiers to them. Second, with the more command as with any other command. You can always type the command into the command window and hit return to learn more about the command and about options you can add to the command. So if I type more and then hit return in the command window, I can see the variety of switches that can be added to the command to do different things. For example, if you add plus D to the command, more will not automatically run the post command, which disambiguates the percent MOR tier. So you would end up with a file that has every possible part of speech and morphological analysis of each word. 
And as a second, last example, if you add plus RE to the command, you can run the command recursively on all the files within subfolders, if your folder has subfolders.